Hello and welcome back to Eagle Hive and in this video we'll be focusing on how to download and how to install the relevant files for the Primavera P60 VPN. So the first thing that we have to do is to get the relevant files in our computer, then we're going to install it, then we have to configure the programs to run the Primavera P60 VPN. After which we'll run the Primavera P60 VPN and link it to the Primavera P6 Professional and synchronize the data between the two softwares. So having said this, we'll launch our Google Chrome. So in our Google Chrome, you'll open Oracle Delivery. Just search Oracle Delivery in, for example, Google or your browser then just click on the first that we have the HTTPS e delivery oracle and this is the page where we have to create an account for free or you sign in with the one that you have so for example if I go to create an account It's very easy. You just type in your email address, the password, you retype the password, you put the country that you're from, you put the job title, you put your name and the last name, the work phone, the company name, the address, CT, and the zip code, and you also go to create the account, and that's it. So, say for example, you already have your account, you can just go to sign in. So you can just type in your username and your password and then you sign in. Additionally, after signing in, it's important to know what you have to download. So for our case, we search for Primavera EPPM. Let's say latest version. So version this, just copy this and paste it here Con tested configurations this one so by this is what we need to understand what the Primavera P6 EBPM the version that you want to download the items that have been tested and the items that can run with it by saying the items for example this is the Java the JDK the database so for example if you are supposed to download this version the OS version we can either use all this so for our case we can adopt say Windows Server 2019 or Windows Server 2016 in my case I believe anything in between these two can easily run and the Oracle database that will run with them are this so for example if you are supposed to download the Windows Server 2019 You'll run the Oracle database server of 19.13.00 and if you are to run the Windows server of 2016 you run with the Oracle 19.13.00 as well as 18.16.00 so these are more or less the same any of them can run using this type of OS version so for the non-Oracle database, you also have them over here. So for our case, this is the one that you're going to adopt. We are going to use the Windows Server and you're going to use the Microsoft SQL Server database. So I'll guide you on how to create this and also the Oracle database information. After that, we also need to create or to download the web logic. So if you have downloaded the Windows Server 2016, you go with this type of web logic 12.2.1.4.0 or 14.1.1.0.0 and you go with this this type of JDK which is from Oracle 1.8.0 under dash 311 okay and if you have done the if you have gone with the Windows server 2016 all remain the same 
So it's very important to know what you're going to download. So if somebody is using a Linux system, you have to follow the Linux configurations. Other than that, if you're using Windows Server 2016, you can use the Microsoft Internet Information Server, which is a product, and the version is 10. We go to the integrations and the third party application. So for our case, you're not going to use this, so we can just skip this for now. Maybe just this product, we're going to use the WebLogic 12C, and this is a version. For the P6 reporting software, if you want to use, you can use the OBI, which is the Oracle Business Intelligence Publisher, which is BI Publisher, and this is a version, as well as the Oracle Analytic Server, which is the OAS, and it's 5.5. For the visuals, so on and so forth, there's so many options that we have here. And uh, yeah, so having checked whatever we want, we're just going to go directly to Oracle and now download.